Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will be discussing about the last problem of today's weekly contest, paths in matrix whose sum is divisible by k. The problem states that you are given a zero indexed m cross n matrix grid and an integer k. So you have to start from 0, 0 and in that m minus 1 comma n minus 1, basically start from the top left and end at the bottom right. You have to return the number of paths which such that the sum of elements of the ele sum of elements in that path is divisible by k. Okay. Uh, so since the answer can be very large, you have to return it modulus 10 to the power 9 plus 7. So for example, let's say this is the grid. So in this grid, let's say k equals to 3. So now if you look at this path 5, 2, 4, 5, 2, it starts at 0, 0 and it ends at m minus 1 comma n minus 1 basically bottom left uh, bottom right and if you look at the sum of elements in this path 5 plus 2 plus 4 which is 11 plus 5 16 and 2 18 so 18 is divided by 3 so this is a valid path similarly you can look at this path and you will see that this is also divisible by 3 so hope you get the uh, question like how uh, what exactly we want to return now how to solve this so I would strongly encourage you to pause the video and think of it like any other problem we have solved. Uh, though it is lead code hard, we have solved multiple different problems of this kind in the channel before. So I would encourage you to pause the video and try it yourself once. So hope you have tried. Let's see how to solve this. Now, first of all, this let's say this is the matrix. And what we want, we want to return the number of paths such that the sum of elements uh, sum of elements in that path is divided by k okay so let's assume that k equals to 9 now first of all uh, you might have already noticed that you can't actually enumerate all the paths so there are various possible paths let's say this is one possible path this is another possible path and this is another possible so there are various possible paths so how many number of paths are there so you uh, notice that you have to start from 0 comma 0 and end at this particular cell. So how many times you will be going right? Two times, right? And how many times you will be going down? Two times. Now, what you have is, uh, let's say, string RR DD. And uh, you can just uh, find out how many ways are there to arrange this string of RR DD and that many number of paths you have. So you will realize that it will be in the order of r plus d choose r or choose d so that many number of paths are there and since r and d both are of the order 5 into 10 to the power 4 though their multiplication is 5 into 10 to the power 4 but they can itself be in of the order 5 into 10 to the power 4 so you can't actually apply that algorithm basically you can't enumerate all the paths so now having that having said that what exactly are we left with so let's try to simulate the problem as with every other problem so we start with uh, 0 comma 0 right now let's say you are you are at currently 0 comma 0 now what you want you want number of paths such that the modulus is 0 modulus of k is 0 right now let's say you go right you, you can go to like into direction right or left right uh, sorry right or down so let's say you go right okay so now if you go right what exactly you have taken you have already taken five right so what is remaining remaining is zero minus five so let's just take this uh, simple example so let's say we have taken this path for simplicity let's say we started with this we go right right and then down down so we have taken this path so what we want is we want this path modulus nine to be zero that's what we want now if we have taken this already let's say okay so now what we want now we want that okay we have already taken this so let's just uh, take this to the right side right and if you take this to the right side you will get uh, this particular thing so what you want is starting from here okay so you are start you are currently at here starting from here return me all the paths such that its modulus is this okay so now let's say from here you again take uh, something let's say you take the down or right okay so now if you let's say took down 
So you have already taken this, right? If you have already taken this, now what you want is return me starting from here, return me all the path such that their modulus is minus seven, like modulus nine, like minus seven modulus nine is, is the value. Uh, hope you get this stage. So what we are, what we are doing is it's a kind of recursion. We are solving the same problem again and again, but with different modulus values. Okay. So just to reiterate, we started at zero zero, and let's say we said that okay, we have taken this path and we already take zero comma zero. Now whatever path we take, whatever path we take, the mod the value or the modulus of that path should be equals to this. Okay. Now. I am assuming that you know how to calculate the modulus of minus five, com min minus five modulus nine or so, so on and so forth. It's a very simple modulus trick. So, uh, having said that, like now what is remaining? So let's say you start at zero comma zero. Okay. Now you can see you are solving the same problem. So you start at zero comma zero, and you said that okay, give me all the path such that modulus value is zero. So this is the modulus value. Okay. Now you take you have two choices either you can go right or you can go down so let's say you go right okay so now if you go right uh, what is the value so you you are currently at 0 comma 1 okay and what is the modulus you want you want okay you have taken 5 now you want that whatever rest of the path is though that modulus should be minus 5 modulus 9 right minus 5 modulus 9. So what is this value? This value is 4. So you you will call this. You are solving the same problem with reduced constant. Okay, so hope you are getting this. Now, uh, you let, this is what we have gone right. Let's say you go d down. So if you go down, you will be at 1 comma 0. And again, the modulus you want is 4 because you have taken this 5 already. And what you want, you want everything modulus 9 to be 0. But because you have taken 0, 0 already, you can take this to the right. And you can say whatever sum modulus 9 we will get, the value of that should be this. Okay. So that's where we got 4. So you can apply the same trick. And uh, let's take this one step forward. Uh, so, so this will be the state. So you start, let's say you currently, we have taken this step. You, you are at 0 comma 0 and you want modulus to be 0. Now you go, you go right and you will find that modulus, to, modulus should be 4 now because you have already taken 5. Now you go down. Now again you want modulus to be 4 because you have already taken 5. Now let's say here you go right. So if you go right from 0 comma 1, you will be reaching at 0 comma 2. And because you have already taken 0, 1, so what is the modulus you would expect? You would expect 4 minus 2 modulus 9, right? So which is equals to 2. So what, what you want, starting from here, give me all the path such that there some modulus is equals to 2. Similarly, if you go down, you will say that, okay, I have already taken 0, 1. So like 4 was the target and I have already taken 2. So this should be the remaining modulus. So what is this? 2. So again, you will go 1, 2 and 2. So hope you got the solution. Now let's just look at the pseudo code of this. It is very straightforward. So what we have said is, okay, you, uh, you, we will have three things. I, J, basically the position we are at and what is the modulus value we want. Okay. Now, if this is a valid cell, if this is not a valid cell, let's say i and j is not a, uh, it's not within the cell, you will just return zero. Basically, this f returns number of paths starting at i comma j, which this modulus value. So if this i j itself is not valid, so you can't start with this i j. So that's where you return zero. Now, if this i j is already at the bottom, so uh, let's just see this. So if this i j is already here. So you can't do much, right? You, let's say you want, okay, you, your ij is this. Now you want modulus four. So can you get modulus four from this? And the answer is no, because the value is two. You can only get two. That's what, 
okay so that's what we have checked like if we are already at the last cell then just check whether the grid value is equals to modulus value or not if it is sorry uh, this modulus k should come here okay so if if this grid value is modulus value or not if it is we will we found one path one valid path which ends at this otherwise we found zero path so what <coughs> so from this i comma j we want uh, starting from i comma j you want like i comma j is the last grid so you want starting from last grid give me all the path such that their modulus value is this so you can't give this because you, you can get only one path either you will get one path or you will get nothing so that's what we have to check we have checked that if modulus value is equals to the grid comma ij then we'll just, we will return that otherwise we will return zero now we have these two things that we have discussed either we will go right or we will go down if we go down this will be the remaining modulus and if we go right the remaining modulus will be same it's just that the position will change now based on whatever value you get from this you will just sum it up and return the value modulus the given modulus so hope this solution makes sense let's look at the code the code is exactly similar to the pseudo code that we just see so again uh, you like i hope you understand that you have to do memoization because you can end up having you can end up in the same path again and again so you have to memoize this so that uh, the solution will fit in the time complexity so basically you will not want to calculate the same state again and again so what will be the time complexity number of states how many states are there the maximum value of the different number of possible values of i is m number of possible values of j is n and number of possible values of modulus is k why k because you want modulus k to be zero so modulus value can be zero one two three four up to k minus one so number of possible values k so the complexity is m into n into k multiplied by what you are doing in each state in each state you are calculating you are just checking a few if condition and you are calling the same function uh, again so basically you you are doing order one operations in this each in this t for this each, each state so what final term complexity would be m into n into k okay so the code is very similar so we have initialized our dp array with uh, minus one so as we discussed we checked whether it is a valid cell or not if it is not a valid cell we will just turn zero if it is a valid cell we will check whether this value whether the modulus we want is the current value or not if it is not we can't do much we have to return zero otherwise we found one path okay now next thing is we check the like we just check whether we have calculated this state previously or not if yes we will return this otherwise we find out what is the remainder what is the remainder remainder is whatever modulus we want to find subtract the current value okay and then add k because you like if you know this this number can be negative and you can't do negative modulus k so just we just subtract you just add k and then do modulus k you will get this so this is a simple uh, formula to calculate the modulus of a negative number so now having calculated the remainder we can just uh, go either uh, right or down and whatever value we get we just return it modulus mod this mod is given 10 to the power 9 plus 7 so this mod is different than this mod right so uh, so that's that's the simple code if you have any doubts in the problem please post them in the conversation below i would be happy to answer if you like the video give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thank you